Hello, fellow Toastmasters. My name is Leah Cole, and I'm here to tell you how I single-handedly am protecting the hearts and souls of the men of the Bay Area. Before I moved to California, my friends and family in Massachusetts asked me what I was most looking forward to. I gave them the answers they were expecting to hear. My new job, big girl grown up apartment, leaving behind the frigid New England winter. But what I really wanted to say was a whole new dating pool, completely free of those boys that I'd been in school with from kindergarten through 12th grade, and those college ones that come with the pesky graduation expiration date. I, Leah Cole, I had a plan. I would date three or four guys, maybe at the same time if I was feeling brave, and one of them would inevitably prove to be my Prince Charming. He would be kind, funny, smart, have a stable income, be willing to follow me to the ends of the earth. How hard could it be? Super hard, it turns out. Once I made it to California, I realized I had no idea how to find such a person. I have some great friends, and they reminded me that there is an app or two or three for that. So I got downloading, and I, Leah Cole, I made a plan. Turns out that there are three stages to dating with an app. The first is profile evaluation. A potential Prince Charming will have at least one solo picture. I'm looking to date him, not his friends. That picture won't be of his car. In it, he won't be drinking excessively. All of his clothes will be on. There will be no small children. And if there are, that relationship will be clearly explained in the profile because I am 23 years old and not ready to be a mother. He will not be smoking in that picture. And in that profile, he will not be telling me how 420 friendly he is especially not using the maple leaf emoji. If you're so 420 friendly, you should know the difference between a maple leaf and a marijuana leaf. And once we've gotten through that very reasonable criteria, we move on to stage number two. That would be messaging. There are only three kinds of messages I find completely unacceptable. The first, immediate declaration of love. That's creepy. You don't know me. I'm not interested. The second is starting off by being inappropriate. That's really creepy. You don't know me. Super not interested. And the third, the third is the worst of all. The third is, hey, no punctuation, maybe a capital H if you're lucky. It's not that creepy. Still don't know me. Try harder. I'm not interested. After a month and a half of the Bay, only one candidate made it through stages one and two. And we moved on to stage three, actually meeting. It was at this point I remembered a very important detail about myself. And that is that I hate dating. The thing about dating is it means I have to suppress my natural old lady-like tendencies. I like to stay home. I like to go to bed early. Favorite hobbies of mine include crocheting and embroidery. And when my mom calls, not only do I talk to her, but I also talk to my two cats, Flora and Fauna. They say hi. I knew that if I had to get over this, that there was only one thing I could do. So I, Leah Cole, I made a plan. We would go someplace with pizza and beer because if all went wrong, at least I'd have two of my favorite things. But let's be real. There was no way I was walking out of this date without a second one. Sure enough, at the end of the night, it was clear. He had had an amazing time, and he definitely wanted a second date. And at the end of the night, it was clear. I had had a perfectly nice time, and I definitely did not want that second date. I figured that this would go one of two ways. The first was that he would ghost me. I had misread the situation. I would never hear from him again. And we would go lead our separate lives. This was the ideal case. The second was that he would send me a text. And given the nature of text messages, I would have plenty of time to devise the world's most diplomatic reply, which upon reading it, he would think, wow, that Leah is so nice. And I don't want to date her either. 
I never expected in this text-centric world that he would call me, that he would leave a really nice voicemail asking me to go on a second date. So I once again was forced to make a plan. I paced back and forth in my apartment for at least an hour figuring out what I was going to say. And I was ready. I picked up the phone, and as soon as I heard his voice, I forgot everything I was going to say. I blubbered through the conversation, trying to convey that I didn't have romantic feelings, only friendly ones. But I found the words, let's be friends, pouring out of my mouth. It's OK, though. I'm quick on my feet. I knew I really didn't want to be friends with this guy. So I followed up with, actually, I already have enough friends. I hung up and heard what I assume was the sound of his heart falling out of his chest onto the floor. And for the last time, I, Leah Cole, I made a plan. I pulled out that phone, and I deleted each and every one of those apps. And that, fellow Toastmasters, is how I single-handedly am protecting the hearts and souls of the men of the Bay Area.